Greetings, my friends. Welcome to another segment of Vinyl Records, sharing with you some of those old school jams that I just purchased from eBay and Discogs. In this segment, I also like to recognize some of those sellers that kind of made all this possible. You know, without them listing on eBay, Discogs, accepting the offers, sometimes we might not get some of these records. Some of these records bring a lot of memories, you know, to all the collectors out there, you know, filling these shelves behind me, organizing things, trying to get all my electro freestyle, synth pop music, uh, trying to match my artists and my labels, and just put, kind of putting pieces of the puzzle together. So the very first seller I like to recognize, and I actually bought about 10 records from him. He accepted all my offers. He's very trustworthy, honest, professional. He has integrity. He goes the extra mile for his clients. And who I'm talking about? I'm talking about this man right here. Louis Dean. Louis Dean, Discog's number one trader. He's got up over about 29,000 records on Discogs right now. And also he has about 80,000 total. So he works hard every day. He lists about 50, 60 records a day. And like I said before, he'll go the extra mile for you. So I'm going to share with you, I'll kind of incorporate some of my collection within these 10 records to kind of show you how things uh, play out, you know, as a, as a collector, you know, trying to put all my music together, match my labels, and, and it grows from there. So without further ado, let's start off with the very first one. Here we got Houdini. This is uh, actually the Haunted House of Rock. Uh, this is a UK import. And also is a promo. As you can tell, it says promo copy, not for sale. What I like about this vinyl record, sexy green vinyl. Really nice stuff right here. I like Houdini. Houdini is a very good band. This one came out in about 83. And it was produced by Thomas Dolby. You remember Thomas Dolby that had She Blinded Me With Science. So that's a really good jam right there. Another good Houdini song I like. It's called Friends and Five Minutes of Funk. This one came out in 84 off of uh, the Jive label. Another one by Houdini I like a whole lot. Right here is Magic's Wine. And on one side, they got a long version. It's over 11 minutes long. So really good. Love Houdini stuff. Hopefully in the future I can get the, uh, the Houdini Escape album. Uh, and also I like to get the uh, Freaks Come Out at Night. That's another 12-inch single. I like to add to my collection. So please stay tuned for that. Okay, another one by Mr. Lewis Dean I got. Cosmic Cars by Cybotron. Off of Fantasy, this is the brown label. This one was released back in 82. Really early stuff. Good techno Detroit electro. This is uh, Mr. Juan Atkins. Very, very talented. That's one of his uh, first hits after he came out in 1981 when he started his group. Okay, another one by Cybertron is Clear. And on the side B is Industrialized off of Fantasy. And also, uh, Cybertron made a promo copy of Clear. And what it is is Clear on both sides. Another good one by Cybertron is R9. I think this one came out in 84, 85. So, pretty good one. Really good, heavy hitting, good techno electro, good sense. But I think the most collectible Cybertron records got to be Techno City. I think this one came out in 84. Yep, 1984. Techno City. Really good song. Uh, and one of the side projects by Cybertron is uh, Channel One. It's a really good song called Technicolor. It's off of Metroplex. And another side project by Cybertron would be Model 500. Some really good tracks I like to get from him also. But Technicolor is a really good song. I like it a whole lot. And another one I got from uh, Mr. Lewis would be Ada called Number One. And this one came out, I think, in 83. It's kind of like an electro disco song. And I first heard this song, it was actually a test pressing by Umberto Fab. Uh, has really good collectible stuff on YouTube. Please check him out. He's got amazing old school electro that he posts all the time. And whenever uh, he posts his uh, videos, all the questions are always answered. So please stay tuned to his videos. It's really good. So 
that's why I first heard this song, and uh, I've seen it on Discogs quite a bit, but I never actually listened to it. Number one by Ada. It's off of Vanguard. Uh, another one by Vanguard from my collection. This is a good one. It's called Two Turn On. It's another promo of Vanguard by Alicia. And, of course, I had to get the heavy-hitting electro masterpieces right here by Mr. Twilight 22 called Electric Kingdom. And this has the uh, Kingdom version on there. This one came out in 83. This was uh, their very first hit. A year Later, 84. It's my favorite one by Twilight 22. It's got to be Siberian Nights. Really good stuff. So, hope you're having fun. Just kind of show you some of that old school stuff that we all love a whole lot. Okay, the next song that I got and uh, made an offer and he accepted it is right here. Let Me Hold You. Really good freestyle off of Posse Records by Isis. Love that posse color uh, jacket right there. Really cool. And also another thing about honesty. When you list all his records, if the corners cut, if they have any smudges, if they have any writing on the label, he always mentions it. Another thing I want to mention to all y'all collectors out there, the vinyl is flawless. No fingerprints or anything. All the vinyl is so clean, so impressive. Anytime I want to buy some new vinyl, have some money, worked a little overtime, I go to Louis Dean. He really tightens me up a whole lot. Give me some good stuff. From the collection, probably the most highly collectible on Posse Records would have to be The Beach. Africa uh, and the Zulu Kings. Melly Mel. It's got Ice-T on the mic on there. Really good song. I guess about four years I waited and uh, finally... Uh, uh, somebody accepted my offer on Discog. So on my want list, when the songs actually come out, you gotta gotta jump on it sometimes because the seller of this record told me says, after you made the offer, I've had four more offers after that. So I got very lucky. The beach. Very highly collectible off of Posse Records. Another one that kind of stumped me just a little bit. Uh, of course I'm a big Egyptian lover collector. And I got just about all his records. And he had this one song called Bounce the Booty on there, which is pretty good. And I had this tape back in the day called Back from the Tomb. And they had this other song on there I loved the whole lot because Gotta Have, Gotta Have You. That's the name of the song right there. And I didn't realize that was actually on side B. Gotta Have You. Love that song a whole lot. So absolutely had to have it for my collection. Okay, another one he had. Uh, that I didn't actually have in my collection was Man Parish, the LP. This has just about everything on there. Hip-hop, bebop, man-made in the beginning, uh, heat stroke, street clap, all that. This is all the hits on here. And I tell you what, this album was so far ahead of its time. 1982 when it came out. Really good electro, good synths in there, Man Parish. Very incredible, very talented right here off the import. So... Very happy to have that. And from my collection, I have one that looks like the LP. This is Man Parish, the special limited edition 12-inch. And if you see on the back, it actually has Man Made, Heat Stroke, and Street Clap. Uh, these are the songs on there. The only, the only part of Man Made they do not have on here is called In the Beginning, which the LP has, where it has the intro with the robot voice in the beginning. So anyway, that's another one from the collection. And if you uh, collect Man Parry stuff, I uh, highly recommend this one. Off of Sugar Scoop, so we got Hip Hop Bebop. Another one by Man Parish, Boogie Down Bronx. I think it came out in 84. In 85, we had Hey There Homeboys on Sugar Scoop. And I have one that's uh, from the Netherlands. This is off of Ram Horns. This is an import. There's a Hey There Homeboys with the uh, picture jacket on there. And I actually bought this from a record store. got lucky and uh, got a really good price for it. In 1987, I think this is the uh, last one I got by Man Parish, uh, would have to be Brown Sugar. And, of course, that's the, the Brown Sugar from uh, the Rolling Stones. Kind of the same beat on there with all the electronic uh, synths in there. Okay, the next one I got from Mr. Dean would have to be the Pet Shop Boys. This is uh, Opportunities, Let's Make Lots of Money. Good off of EMI America. 
love the Pet Shop Boys. I like the Pesh Mode, Pet Shop Boys. I love a lot of synth pop stuff. So, as I collect, like I said, you know, just trying to put pieces of the puzzle together. Another good one. Got West End Girls, Pet Shop Boys. And picked this up in the record store. This is what I've done to deserve this with uh, Dusty Springfield of the MI Manhattan. <clears throat> I always loved this one right here. Domino Dancing. It's got the picture jacket also. And I picked it up from the same record shop. So, really cool. That's some really good stuff. Really enjoy all the uh, synth pop music on that. Okay, this is one I've been wanting for a long time. And this is a uh, German import. This is ABC. How to Be a Zillionaire. Really cool. Nice. Pictured cover. Like I said before, the vinyl is just flawless. Always go to your sellers, my friends. Your sellers that tighten you up over all these years, accept your offers. And, you know, you might buy three, five, ten records at a time. I can trust this man. He always uh, pulls through for me. So that's a really good one right there. 1984, it's a UK import, Bronski Beat. This is a small town boy. Uh, this is the small town boy that's really long. I think it's like nine minutes long. It's got that really good intro. Uh, it's Jimmy Somerville on the vocals. Really good. Love his voice. Hit That Perfect Beat by Bronski Beat. Just want to bring this for my collection. It's a really good one, too. And I think this one's like about 136 beats per minute. Another one except my offer was this one here. This is Latour. This is Involved. Really good off of Smash Records. And it has the hype sticker on there and the, uh, the original company jacket. So, thought it was really cool, very colorful, good price. Could not pass it up. For the collection, Latour, people are still having sex. Really good. Good acid house music. Well, that concludes uh, the 10 records plus records from my own collection from Mr. Uh, Lewis Dean. So, please check them out on Discogs. Really good stuff. List stuff every day. So, you can't go wrong. Okay, the next one. And I want to say this is by, I think it's Plumber John or Plumber Wine from uh, eBay. Got this one here. This is Timmy T off of Jam City Records, My Exceptional Girl. This is the most highly collectible Timmy T record out there on 12-inch. Now, over the years, the price was better than $100, and finally it came down over all these years. It's a really good song. I think it came out in 90. And of course, uh, Timmy T, uh, California Freestyle, and Jam City Records. Jam City Records is awesome. So please check out Jam City anytime you want to collect some of those good West Coast uh, electro freestyle songs. Another one by Timmy T of Jam City. This is Time After Time. And on here, I got a promo stamp on there. And I got a, another copy of uh, Time After Time, but it's a, uh, a little bit different. I think it's more of a reissue. So I think one came out in 89 and one came out in 1990. Here's another good one by Timmy T. You get all your Timmy T collectors out there. What will I do? It's off quality. That's a good song right there. All right, another one I got is by Lil Susie. I always love this song a whole lot. This is Take Me In Your Arms. This is off of High Power Records. Really good. Came out in 91. It's, it's amazing how long ago all this good freestyle music came out. 1991. It's amazing. I mean, 25 years ago. Still love it today. Still sounds fresh. Still love to mix it. I think it's like 127 beats per minute, something like that. Here's another good collectible. It's by Ronaldo. My Sweet Love. And they actually got four different pressings. And uh, I think this one's a little bit more collectible. And uh, this is off of High Power Records also. So that's a good one if you love freestyle music. My Sweet Love. Really good. Okay. Now, these two I got right here. And from my other videos, I told you I'm trying to boost my Egyptian Lover collection. And this is one on my want list. And I finally got it. Here it is. The Egyptian Lover. Egypt's Rave. 93, Egypt, Egypt, original mix on that side. But the, to me, the best song on the whole record 
is Planet E Remix. Also, it's got Get High, Get X, Get Drunk, Get Sex. Really good. Got a really good price. Uh, very, very pleased with the condition of this record. So, really cool to have in my collection. So, got a couple more Egyptian Lover records to collect, and then I think I'll be complete. So, really cool. Enjoy it a whole lot. And uh, sometimes when you buy your records and you put you put the needle down and it skips a little bit, just inspect the records very well. And uh, one of the records was kind of skipping on me a little bit. And I was getting disappointed. And I had some Groove Glide. And I put some Groove Glide on that record. And I cleaned it really, really good. No more scratches. The, the needle went right through it. It just had a couple of smudge marks on there. So... Collectors out there, you want to clean your records, get Groove Glide. Good stuff. Another one I got off of eBay is another collectible of a class act. This is by H.C. Smooth. Let's Rock Nonstop. And the parent company is Macola. Really good. Heavy hitting, heavy vocoder. Love the beats. A lot of samples in there. Um, let's Rock Nonstop. Really good. Played it over and over again. Uh, a couple more records. Um, Freestyle, I had to get another copy, and it's actually a promo. Uh, a couple of the songs I like off of Noel's uh, album. It's called, uh, what is it? Street? What is it? Oh, City Streets. City Streets, really good song. Never released on the 12-inch single. And one of my favorite freestyle songs of all time is Fire to Ice, and that was never released on a 12-inch single. So on my other Noel record, it was kind of skipping, very disappointing. So I said, let me go for it. So here it is. This is the promo version of the LP Noel. It has about six hits on there. It's got all your favorites on there. So in, all your freestyle fans out there, Noel, really good record to get. The last record I want to share with all you, my friends, and I got it sealed. It's been on my want list for a while. Jocelyn Enriquez, I've been thinking about you. Really good. It's got a whole lot of different versions on there. It's off of classified records. And another song is a little bit of ecstasy, which I actually have in my collection also. So good freestyle stuff like freestyle house music. Just no, uh, Jocelyn Enriquez. Really good, still sealed. I'm gonna definitely break the seal in a little bit and start jamming those records. So really enjoy it. Hope everybody had a good time. All you collectors out there, uh, I just want to wish everybody good luck. And thanks again to all the sellers on Discogs and eBay. You know, to trying to make all this all this possible to have my collection. And I'm going to keep putting all the pieces of the puzzle together. So thank you all so much. And uh, I appreciate everything. Bye-bye.